Welcome back everyone. We are out here on a windy, dreary day to do the review. The weather doesn't matter. The videos must continue. <laughs> and today, what are we talking about? Well, we're talking about this stock set here on this Remington 870. We're also going to talk about the 870 itself and uh, basically how it's performed because it is a new one that we bought for this video. So first off, talk about the stock and the fore end here. These are from Wooks. Obviously looks great. There's no getting around it. American made wood furniture. Focus here on the stock and sort of walk our way forward for some semblance of order. If we actually flip it over, you will see that we do have a quick detached sling swivel point here on the inside, uh, at least for a right-handed shooter anyway. Me personally, that's not where I put my slings, but it is nice to have it on there. And of course, if you really wanted to, you could put a sling swivel point on the other side, but it doesn't come like that from the factory. It has this nice comb riser here. Uh, I would imagine that would work pretty well with optics if you had it on there. That said, we've just been running it here with the bead and it works just fine in terms of getting a good sight picture on the 870. You can see it's undercut here on the bottom. Recoil pad is pretty giving. Uh, definitely more than the one that it came with from the factory. I should mention this gun came with just the uh, budget factory furniture on there, the black stuff, and uh, it certainly works, but this is certainly much better. And up front here on the pistol grip, we do have some checkering as well as the Wooks logo. Now, one thing I will just go ahead and point out here <laughs> before we actually start shooting is that the actual instructions that come with it are for Mossbergs only, not the 870s. So I'm just gonna tell you guys how to install the stock. And uh, I can't show you unfortunately, cause YouTube rules, but it is what it is. There is a little bolt here that goes up into a piece of steel that attaches via the standard 870 attachment point, but you can't get it on if you have the trigger guard in. So that took me about five minutes of looking at it like a curious monkey to figure out. Um, but you just have to pull the trigger guard out and then you can slide it up and you're good to go. Um, so, and just tighten down your screw. It does come with all the hardware needed for it. And I suppose before we get into the handguard, let's put a few rounds through it. So right now we have it loaded up with some bird shot and uh, we'll see how she shoots. Ooh, one more. So as you guys saw there, I'm not sure if you picked up on it, but we had a little hiccup in terms of feeding from the magazine, unfortunately, uh, with the Remington. We will get into that more after we load it up with some buckshot. Before continuing on, I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, and that is American Heart for Gold. Anybody who's watched the channel knows that I am not a huge fan of fiat currency, and that is an understatement. There's a plethora of reasons why that might be. Constant inflation, banks failing, the government threatening, to bring about a digital currency. And as firearms owners know, you cannot count on the government for your protection. Our friends at American Hartford Gold can help you diversify your portfolio from just fiat-based currency to physical gold and silver. So that way you diversify that risk across the board. American Hartford Gold has thousands of five-star ratings and a plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. Plus they support content like this, which certainly is not the case with all companies, as many of you know. When you reach out to them now, they will give you up to $5,000 in free gold or silver and you can let them know that i sent you by texting code gear to the number here on your screen or giving them a call at 866-856-2097 again that is 866-856-2097 or text gear to 65532 now back to the video we have topped it up with some buckshot and we're going to move on to the fore end here this one of course obviously Remington 870 should note that they do make these for both Mossberg pattern rifles as well as the shock waves with the little bird's head grip on there. So if you guys are into that, uh, you can use it on those as well. Obviously we have the M-Lock there at the, it's not really the three and the nine o'clock position like traditional, because as you guys can see, the handguard kind of comes in there off the top. But you have three slots there of M-Lock. So you had a home defense gun or something like that, you could definitely mount a light on there. One thing I will tell you is I mounted a light on there. It was one that I would not recommend though. Um, basically, if you want to mount a light on here, what I would do is I would get an extended bar. So that way, basically the cap of the light doesn't come back past here because I had one that was back here and under recoil, it was hitting my thumb. So that's why I removed it. But that is not a problem with the handguard or anything like that. It's a problem just with the light that I selected. So just know that going forward. Learn your lesson from me. Um, but you guys can see that we do have the uh, 
ledges there for racking it both forward and back. This version here has the texturing on there, which is definitely needed. Um, I know some of these out there do not have that. So I think they have two different models, some with checkering, some without. Highly recommend the checkering because even with it, um, when it's hot or you're sweaty or whatever the case may be, there can be a little bit of slippage on there. So with that, like I said, we have it loaded up with some buckshot. I should also note that we do have a choat extension on there that came from the folks at Brown House. So big thanks to them for that. And uh, it did have a little piece that bound the barrel and the extension together uh, that has long since shot off under recoil. I should note, I did use blue Loctite. I followed my own advice, but it still came off, uh, but it works fine without it. So let's see how, how we do with some buckshot here. Once again, we're having an issue feeding from the magazine. So once I shook it a little bit, it fed. But that was happening, I should note. I don't know if you guys can hear that. That's not normal. All right, let's fire this round through and see what's going on. All right. I mean, it's feeding. Very weird, but those rounds were definitely moving freely in there and they shouldn't have. Unfortunately, guys, this is something that we had with the factory setup as well. There's something wrong with that magazine and the feeding mechanism on this 870. Now, for those of you guys who have followed the channel for a while, about probably three or four years ago, I made a video on the uh, 870s, essentially telling people not to buy them. Uh, I made that video because for years before that, I told people to buy them, uh, but the old uh, facility where these were being made definitely had some quality control issues. That's why I went out and bought this one uh, with you know channel dollars here, just to get a fresh sample in. And unfortunately, it looks like the problems are still there. Um, again, we haven't had the cameras rolling when it was in a factory setup because we wanted to showcase this furniture set, but it's been having issues with both, unfortunately. So again, not an issue of the actual furniture that we wanted to talk about today, but I also wanted to showcase the new Remingtons to let you guys know if they've improved. With this sample size of one, it doesn't seem like they have. Well, since we're a glutton for punishment, we topped it off with some birdshot to see if it'll run and feed that. Uh, but before we do, I do want to mention that the way the handguard actually attaches is obviously standard 870, but Wilkes does send the tool with it, which is key. There's a lot of aftermarket 870 companies that don't send the tool. Now I happen to have a couple uh, just in case, uh, but it is key that they send it out and it's a nice steel tool, makes installation very easy. You just screw on the nut uh, off and then back on once you have the Wilkes on there. Very, very simple. Uh, again, there's a million tutorials online. Unfortunately, I can't show it to you because of the rules, uh, but let's see if it feeds this bird shot here. Has that same issue we were running into or not, if we can get through a magazine without a problem. <laughs> yep, it's just not feeding right. See. Like it shouldn't be that hard uh, for folks who are new to shotguns. It should not be like you have to really ram it. I mean, you gotta run a shotgun with authority, no doubt, but it's not releasing and it's not coming up and feeding. <sighs> Unfortunately, we are frustrated at this point with the gun. However, again, the furniture is just fine, which is what we wanted to focus on. But let's try some more buckshot and see if the kinks have worked out. We will see. So we topped it off with some buckshot from our friends at Firearms Depot. All the ammunition that we've used throughout this gun has come from them. So definitely a big thank you to them for supporting the shotgun ammo here. So uh, we'll see if it runs. Again, full house, buckshot. Well, that one ran just fine. Oh, smoke going on there, but the stock, Holds up fine, obviously under recoil with that full house buckshot. That stuff's going like 1300 feet per second. Uh, there is a little bit of movement on the handguard. Um, maybe if that stippling could be a little bit more aggressive, it would be good. Maybe put it on the bottom as well. If there was an improve for the product, that probably would be it. A little bit more texture up front is definitely something I personally would like. 
we moved off to the side of the range, so hopefully the wind won't be quite so bad over here. A few things we want to talk about here before we close it out. Number one, Wooks did send this out for this video, just a full disclosure on that front. That said, the actual quality of the stock as well as the foreign seems to be very, very good. And I think obviously wood furniture like this with modern features like M-Lock is kind of a niche market, no doubt about it. That said, the execution is great. Any kind of nick or scuff or anything like that, that you guys see on these is from me. When it came from the factory, absolutely flawless as you would expect. And the finish, the fit, everything quite, quite nice on it. Um, one thing obviously is that if you are going to pick this setup at this point, I would recommend that you put it on a older 870, maybe a police trade in or something like that, because I just don't think the new 870s are there. It's unfortunate. So uh, the biggest problem that we've had has been basically feeding and getting onto that lifter. It just doesn't seem to want to do it, which is very interesting because the previous generations of 870s that we had issues with were generally speaking extraction issues. Um, but that wasn't the case here. It was the coming out of that, getting that shell out of the magazine and into the chamber, uh, various different forms, various different types of ammo. It just didn't want to do it. So it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. We also have a slight amount of rust building up on it. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but a little bit. That said, right now I'm probably 300 meters from the ocean. Uh, it is just that way. So it is pretty uh, rough environments for fit and finish out here. No doubt about that. But all in all, bottom line, stock fore end are good. They're not cheap. That's for sure. If you guys are looking for a budget upgrade, probably not the way to go, but they are good to go, solid. The Remington 870, not good to go. So batting 50-50 with everything that you guys see here. So once again, thanks to Firearms Depot for sending the ammo, Brownhouse for sending the extension, and Wooks for sending the furniture out. And this gun will probably be going back to Remington to see if they can rectify the issues that we have had. But with that, guys, if you like the type of video that we do here, where we show you everything, warts and all, definitely hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Also hit the notification bell, so that way you're notified whenever we put up content. If you've done both of those and you're not seeing two to four videos a week here on the channel, then you are being censored by an algorithm from my content. Uh, to get around that, you can sign up for my email at the site here on your screen. This email goes out once a month and it has all of the videos since the previous month's uh, video, excuse me, email went out. So that way there's not a big tech giant censoring your eyes from my content via an algorithm. Additionally, at that website, we have recently updated it. So definitely go over there and check it out. There might be some things over there that you like if you're interested in this video over there and see if anything catches your eye. Additionally, if it, these uh, items go on sale, the stock, the foreign go on sale, uh, any of the ammo that we've been using throughout the video goes on sale, a non Remington 870 shotgun goes on sale, we will put it out in our daily deals email. That goes out every day as the name indicates and it has eight of the best deals that we find around the internet. If it is in the email, on that day, it is the cheapest I know of anywhere on the internet because I do the price comparisons before uh, putting them in there. So that way it saves you guys some time and hopefully it saves you some money. There's also a good meme in there that everyone seems to like. So if you're into memes, gun related, definitely check it out. And with that, we'll close it out. Thank you all for watching. I truly appreciate it. I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video. Pepper him up. <laughs>